guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, I'm bringing you PUBG today and he's gonna play live ladder games for you guys with this 2.5 very fast wall breaker cycle deck with magic archer not the big spell in this deck just log but it's gonna play three live ladder game for you guys and then we're gonna show some replays with some other decks that he had on ladder remember guys this is top ladder so the games and matchups and searching is longer so for everything it takes some time but hey I hope you're gonna like it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Let's hop into some games. Okay, we are in the match. Oh, it's OP Sam. That's gonna be a, a very nice game. It's gonna play a skeleton in the back. And a little bit chip with the miner. Let's go PUBG. AK Dark Sky. We're gonna play some bats here. He's playing a giant miner deck. Oh, we're gonna a little bit for aggression with the wall breakers, which is pretty good. So remember, guys, we're gonna play. Uh, he's currently playing alive, and this is top ladder. So the pressure is higher up. Magic Archer Mini Pekka combination is gonna destroy this giant. In the meantime, we are trying to destroy his Magic Archer with a miner. I just call him um, Magic Archer on the bridge, support it to protect the Magic Archer with the bats. Applying a pressure with other lane. So I'm gonna share to you guys live ladder games that he had right now and some replays that he was thinking it's very good to show. He's playing multiple different kind of decks so. Let's see, Magic Archer in the back. We currently have a very high storm in Switzerland. And if you hear the noise, it's because of the wind. Magic Archer Giant incoming. Nice. Mini Pekka is gonna destroy this giant. Nice log there. This giant is going nowhere. Unfortunately, Mini Pekka is gonna destroy the Magic Archer. But 3063, we are currently in a tower advantage and we're gonna apply more pressure where our opponent is gonna play Sam is gonna play log so Sam is a CRL pro player which is uh, this match is pretty interesting mini Pekka magic archer let's go now we're gonna play mini Pekka higher up applying pressure other so with this deck, it's very crucial to apply pressure with the other lane. And here keeping the mini P.E.K.K.A for the giant. Nice magic archer. So PUBG wants that magic archer on the lane where he's attacking. Which is quite important. Sam decided to go with mini P.E.K.K.A giant. Applying more pressure, nice log. And um, our mini P.E.K.K.A is going to destroy his mini P.E.K.K.A, which is perfect. And now we have a little push with Ice Goal and mini P.E.K.K.A. Magic Archer here on the bridge. We're going to start chipping. It's very important now to get some Elixir tower damage. Giant mini P.E.K.K.A. Those pushes are really, really scary. Three skeletons to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. So our mini P.E.K.K.A. stays alive. We need to be very, very careful here. Nice ice golem here. And nice kite with the wall breakers for that mini P.E.K.K.A. Bass for the magic archer. Beautiful defense by PUBG. And now magic archer in the back by OP Sam. Those pushes are really, really uh, difficult to handle, especially uh, magic archers. We don't want magic archer chip. So we are playing mini P.E.K.K.A. on the side. So magic archer is attached. Unfortunately, mine is gonna get a little bit chipped, but we are still in a tower advantage, which is pretty good for us. We don't have a very big spell, we have log. So we kinda need to deal with the magic archers as well. OP Sam didn't manage to protect his own magic archer. We have two mini P.E.K.K.A.s played aside because of the OP Sam magic archer here. Oh my god, another mini P.E.K.K.A. giant on the bridge. 
it's getting a little bit tricky, but minor, pretty good minor to distract the magic archer, another magic archer. Mini Pekka push with the bats. Let's go, nice log. OP Sam is really, really pushing right now. Mini Pekka is destroying the giant, but we need to be careful very much with the magic archer. Nice defense by PUBG. Mini Pekka, minor. We are in a... Oh, the Mini Pekka got a hit. 560? Wow, well played. And we are in another match against Dane Leon. Dane Leon is PUBG's next opponent. He's gonna split the wall breakers in the back. Um, not in the back, on the, on the front here. It's very fast cyclish deck without a big, big, big monster spell. Just has lock, which is quite interesting. We usually see the versions with the bomb tower, but he decided to not have that. Let's see, maybe it's a Mega Knight Bay deck. Dandelion. Kinda looks like one. We're gonna play Skeletons to try to get the Skelly army. And we have a Mini Pekka coming to his side, but it's a bait deck, so it looks like definitely a Mega Knight Bait. So let's see how he's gonna handle this. Magic Arch is a nightmare for a Mega Knight Bait deck because you don't have a big spell. But you have a lot of answers to it. So we're gonna decide to chip. Dandelion took that down. Those big monsters pushes with this kind of deck is gonna be uh, quite interesting. Remember guys, this is top ladder so the games and everything takes much longer to record. Because the baiting process is much much longer than regular. We're gonna play Mini Pekka here to distract this miner. And a little bit of distraction for Inferno Dragon. High up Magic Archer. Mini Pekka is kind of going nowhere, especially with so much Spear Goblins. Nice path. This opponent needs to use Snowball. We're gonna try to chip. We got a little bit. Now we are a little bit more aggressive with Wall Breakers here. And wow, that's a nice damage. 2,386 Let's see what Dandelion is gonna do. PUBG looks like pretty solid with this deck. Pretty damn solid. Okay. Nice golem. We need to deal with a nice log. We are applying a little bit of pressure with Magic Archer Minor Bats combination. But now Dandelion decided to push Mega Knight. We're gonna play Mini Pekka on the front. We're gonna probably cycle to our log here for this Skelly Barrel. We're gonna miss it a little bit. Oops. Dang it. Ooh. We're gonna play another Magic Archer. Distract the Inferno Dragon. Very nice. That's in the back. Just need to defend those spear goblins and this thing here. Gonna get nice damage. 1822 double magic archers. Let's see a magic archer power in the hands of PUBG. Okay, dark sky. A little bit of chip. The bats are gonna die. We need to take care of those miners quickly as possible. Currently quite equal. Opponent is applying pressure with the Skelly Barrels. We kind of need to act quickly. We have two Magic Archers on the field right now. But the opponent is chipping us down with Miners. We're trying to distract the Spear Goblins. 1540. We're gonna play Miner. We're gonna play Miner other lane. And Wall Breakers. Mini Pekka here, distraction for the Dandelion is playing this amazingly good. 629. He's really really aggressive. It's nice to see my deck. Something that I play regularly on ladder. 196. Dandelion is playing with snowball. 
gonna lock the goblins, but we kind of need to get rid of the nice snowball. That was very well played by Dandelion. And we are in the next game against uh, Raikert? Raichet? F? I don't know, let's call him F. We're gonna start with chipping with the miner. Chippy chippy, a little bit. Love the miner. Magic Archer Ice Golem. We're gonna play our own Magic Archer. But the opponent does have Fireball, so that's not the best thing for us here. It's gonna get a little more chip with Magic Archer. Nice bats. Venom Dragon in the back. We're gonna try to apply pressure with Wallbreaker Minor situation. But he has a Dark Prince and Ghost. Interesting deck. Nice Ice Golem to kite. It's just the Magic Archer is getting the damage currently. Opponent is uh, nicely uh, dealing with our own Magic Archers. And then we're gonna play Wall Breakers and a Miner. Nice fireball. That was a great fireball. On time. 3010. Didn't deal a lot of damage. We're gonna play a magic archer in the back. We need to be also careful about opponent's magic archers. Opponent was leaking a little bit. Playing Venom mm, Dragon in the back. We're gonna distract with this with the Ice Golem. Yeah, we're gonna go bats. Interesting. He's gonna try maybe to get the magic archer. Oof, we're gonna play one more magic. Double magic. Ice golem. Nice. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna distract this for sure. But the problem is he has to zap in fireball. Which is pretty nice countering us. At this point. Ooh, nice wall breakers. This guy has everything for this deck. Hope he didn't snipe. It just looks like a snipey situation. Okay, we're gonna play Bass. He's gonna play Magic Archer. I never saw anybody playing this version of the deck, but... Maybe I did, I don't know. Often forget. Damn, that Magic Archer got some nice chip. The Zap and Fireball. Dang it. We are forced to play Miner here. And this is something that we don't like to do, especially in this game with this deck. Magic Archer Ghost push. Pretty nasty push. Everything on the bridge. Gonna play Mini Pekka. He's gonna play Zap. Double magic archers on the bridge. Pretty dangerous. Nice logs. We're gonna try to apply pressure. Nice miner. Wow, that was a great miner. Miner on the front. Not in the back. Usually many people do miner in the back. He does it on the front of the wall breakers. So wall breakers are still connecting because Dark Prince was distracted by the miner. It's very well played. Wow, 341. The game starts to be interesting right now. 124. We gotta be careful regarding the magic. Ship with a mine and that's game. That's GG. That's well played. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna show you this game that he had. He was playing a Pekka deck, which is currently very good in the meta versus this expo deck so let's see how he was handling this deck and how he was playing against it what his life was his opponent and this is currently one of my favorite pekka decks in the game and i think it's a really really good deck magic arch is one of those cards that is currently very very solid 
So he starts with the bandit in the back. Opponent's gonna play Tesla. We're gonna show you three live games and then three replays that he had. Let's see, magic archer in the back. It's gonna go nice, destroy this, but we're gonna push uh, Balaram into the this Tesla. Apply a little bit of pressure. I see Expo is one of those decks that is very popular in the meta and it's always viable somehow. It's always in the meta, especially in the top ladder. I guess we all need to like see the difference between top ladder, mid ladder, low ladder. It's completely different kind of decks. And I see Expo is really really good deck. It's constantly there, present. So let's see. Usually Expo decks can be tricky for this deck, but uh, let's see how PUBG was playing this. So he was playing Bandit in the back. Opponent did play Ice Wizard in the back. We deal already a little bit of damage, so. He put his uh, Princess Tower on 2732, which is very good. And now he's playing the Balaram on the bridge, supported with Electro Wizard. We have here Magic Archer to clean things up a little bit. But opponent does have still Tesla, which is going to be destroyed by the Wizard, which is very, very good. We are still applying pressure with this version of, um, of a PKD. So let's see what we're going to do now. Opponent's gonna play Ice Wizard in the back. We're gonna play Ghost Opposite Lane. And now we have Attack by Opponent. So we're gonna play Pekka very much like in the back. Bandit is behind and we're gonna start poisoning his Expo with the units in the back. That's pretty good. Unfortunately our Pekka is gonna die to the Tesla. So we need to kind of repeat the process. We're gonna play Ghost in the back. And Balram on the front, on the bridge. Look how he plays the Magic Archer. So he's not getting uh, very low. Ooh, opponent did ship. We are forced to play Poison here. And playing Balram opposite lane. Unfortunately, opponent does have all of the answers currently in in the making with that lock and the uh, and the knight. So opponent decide to go defensive expo. We're gonna go Pekka and Ghost plus Magic Archer. We want that Magic Archer alive, and he's gonna stay alive. Let's see what we're gonna do in this matchup. So, opponent does defensive X, but we are playing then Pekka lower. And now we're gonna try apply pressure with the Balaram. And now we're gonna play Pekka in the back. And because of it, the opponent decided to rocket the Princess Tower. So we are deciding to go with a big push at this point. This is very useful to watch the game, so highlight it because then you can understand it a little bit better especially the matchups let's see this is gonna nicely connect because he zapped the skeletons that zap was perfect and it brought so many damage and the ghost the ghost oh my god that was a nice game very very well played 17 trophies. Ouch. Okay, there is this game that he was playing versus Lockbait player. So Lockbait is one of those decks that it's quite difficult because this deck doesn't have lock. So especially Lockbait deck can be a difficult matchup for this Pekka Magic Archer deck. Which I currently think is one of the best Pekka decks in the game right now. Just because of the Magic Archer. Magic Archer combination with all of this in this deck is pretty good combination. This deck is not so much free to frame friendly because it has so many legendary cards but once when you upgrade this kind of deck it's really fun to play. Let's see what he does in this matchup. So he was playing Bandit. La Bandita. Chiquita. Nice. She got some damage. 
And now the pressure is on with the barrels. We're gonna play Iwes on the front to catch the goblins. In most of the cases we are doing that with Iwes on the goblins. Let's see. Magic Archer. Princess. Interesting princess. Very aggressive princess. So we're gonna play Ghost to destroy the princess at this point. Our opponent doesn't have much elixir left. But we also need to be careful that the princess is not chipping us down. This bandit was looking like she was almost going for that goblin. And the dash. That bandit was golden bandit right there. This guy is from a very, very good clan. Parabellum is one of the top clans in Clash Royale. And applying pressure with the barrels. Again, Iwes. We are not using Zap on it. We are using Iwes. We are kind of keeping it, I guess, for the Inferno power if we want to go with a big push with a P.E.K.K.A. so let's see magic archer here for the goblins and trying to get some pressure with the Valoram opponent decides to not play Inferno instead we decide to poison the princess that was a very good opportunity and now we are playing Ghost and Bandit. We are not using Zap. We are using Bandit and Ghost to distract the barrels. We still need to deal with the Princess on the other lane. So we decide to go with Magic. Electro Wizard. And another. Now opponent is applying a lot of pressure with the game. With the barrel. Trying to outcycle us. Let's see what he does. So we have Pekka Magic Arch on one lane. We are applying pressure with the ghost opposite lane. We still need to deal with the Inferno Tower. Nice zap there. So we are keeping the zap for Inferno Towers, which is very, very important. And now we are applying pressure with the Valoram opposite lane. We have a bandit dashing and pushing with the ghost. Currently, opponent doesn't have nothing for that ghost. And he knows it. Nice. And Poison is gonna finish this off. This is one of those matches pretty difficult for the for um, dealing with this bait deck. And the last match was against Golem deck, and he was playing Mortar Bait. I do like Mortar Bait decks. I do like Mortar decks. I was playing Mortar decks, but um, particular this Mortar Hawk deck with the Bats and Minion Horde can be quite a challenge to play and to master. So let's see the Golem matchup. We're gonna push Hog and Bats. The opponent does have Mini Pekka to destroy our Hog push. Huggy Huggy. We're gonna play Spear Goblins to destroy the Mini Pekka. So this is a Golem Lightning matchup. So opponent decides to play the Golem in the back, Yulitsa. From Romanian Warlords, also very top, good clan. And now we going more on the same lane, higher up. Let's see how he's gonna defend this. So he's gonna play a minion horde and the goblin game plus fireball. And baby dragon didn't destroy the minions or the goblins. This guy has a very difficult deck because he has dark prince in it. Splasher, Baby Dragon, Dark Prince destroy a lot of uh, pushes here. But nice defense. This is a very difficult matchup considering the our opponent here has arrows as well. So what can go wrong here, huh? We are applying a little bit more aggression with nice hog game push. Wow. Okay, took the tower. Let's see, Spear Goblins, 54, that tower is gone. And now we're entering soon in a double elixir. I usually don't like minion hordes because the opponent do run arrows in most of the cases. But it's interesting to see how he's distracting the baby dragon to not like destroy the minion horde or goblin gang. And he does pressure with hog bats a lot. Now we are placing defensive mortar. This is one of the best positions how to place mortar. 
versus Golem deck. We're gonna play our goblins and spear goblins way in the back. And we fireball, but we missed the baby dragon. So let's see. The baby dragon is still alive. Destroying all of our pushes. We're gonna play bats on the baby dragon. And then we're gonna go and play our gang. In the meantime, my opponent does play nice mini Pekka here. So push us with mortar quite a lot. Force us with playing the hog. Nice hog there. We are not giving this guy a tower for nothing. Nice arrows. Spear goblins go down. And that's a good clean defense right there. Ouch! Opponent decided to lightning at the end. Very good, very good games. So, I hope you guys liked this series. So we had a little bit of live games. We had a little bit of replays. Thank you PUBG for playing for the video. And see you guys in my next video. Bye!